proactive. I asked what tools are available. Mr. Bush is aware of the legal haze in which he sets. And I said, are these tools deemed to be legal? Mr. Bush realizes the tools he has chosen have been used. We gained good information from colleague Sheikh Mohammed. Since we know from previous admissions from the Pentagon that colleague Sheikh Mohammed was waterboarded, we can infer that Mr. Bush knew he would be waterboarded and knew afterwards that he had been waterboarded. Mr. Bush is guilty. He's guilty of sin. Mr. President-elect, you were first asked about all this on the 18th of April last. I am proud to say you were asked about it by a fellow who got onto his high school newspaper while I was the editor, Bill Bunch of the Philadelphia Daily News. I think you are right, you told me. If crimes have been committed, they should be investigated. You are also right that I would not want my first term consumed by what was perceived on the part of Republicans as a partisan witch hunt, because I think we've got too many problems we've got to solve. So this is an area where I would want to exercise judgment. Good. Amen. But in that brief interview was born, or at least elucidated, a loophole, as you put it, of genuine crimes as opposed to really bad policies. Vice President-elect Biden echoed this on December 21st, the statement to which we're transitioning and directed all those to this is a paramount issue. He said, the questions of whether or not a criminal act has been committed or a very, very bad judgment has been engaged in is something the Justice Department decides. And after his comment last week, the straightforwardness that was like water to a lost soul in the city.